So what have I got here? Well, these are actuators or servos off of a Bobcat skid steer loader. And um, I've been working on Bobcats for about 15 years. And this is the first time ever I've come across this weird scenario with these things. <clears throat> and what it is, you've got a control valve here, a hydraulic with a spool. And these are actually motors right here, electric motors, servos. And this is a, a little actuator piston here that moves the spool in and out. And you got one for the lift, and you got one for the tilt. Now in between there, there's a seal that keeps the hydraulic oil from getting into the actuator and the motor. On this particular one, it came in and I think the tilt didn't work. Actuators are identical. Um, so when removing one of these, I had oil coming out of the end here and realized that the seal retainer on both actuators were missing. So somebody forgot to put those in. Now the weird part is is that this is the controller which is about a foot or two away and then these two connectors connect to a harness which invariably connects to the controller and some of the wires actually go to a second controller, the main controller. And what I found was that this thing was very oily. And I'm thinking, why would that be oily? There's no oil in there. It's a sealed controller circuit board. And I finally realized what had happened is that the oil pressure from the hydraulic valve, being the seal was not doing its job, went through the actuator, came up, went through the electric motor, went through the, the coating on the copper wire, through the connector, because these connectors were just covered with oil, through the harness, and made it all the way two foot away or so to this controller. And at first I couldn't believe it, but I actually took a razor blade and cut open this plastic insulation off of the wire and the wire itself was literally soaked with hydraulic oil. So <laughs> I just couldn't believe it. I've never seen this before where the oil actually pushed through the motors, through the electrical wiring, through the connectors, through the harness, made it all the way to the controller. So needless to say, we had to replace the uh, seal retainers, two actuators, controller, and clean all the connections, and now it's functioning again. But I just can't believe that hydraulic oil will actually travel through the vinyl uh, plastic coating around the wire as a protective and travel that far, because all these connections are sealed. So it really wasn't leaking externally except right around, it was building up so much pressure, it was actually dripping out of the connectors, and this one you can still see is very wet in there. It's always a first time for everything. You know, you think you've seen it all, and there's that next day. Mm -hmm.